Now that I've successfully made some paper, the next thing I'll need for my book is some writing utensils. A variety of methods have been used throughout history to apply ink to paper. The original pencil first used was a stylus made from lead by ancient Romans. Chalk, charcoal, wax, and eventually graphite have all been used as a form of the pencil. Through physical abrasion, the pencil leaves behind a mark. While most pencils are made from graphite, I decided to start with a simpler form this time, a charcoal pencil. I first cut several of the straightest branches I could find. Then I put them in a metal cookie tin and placed it in a fire. By placing it in an airtight container, the wood burns without the presence of oxygen, leaving behind just the carbon in the form of charcoal. After the fire died down, I went through and picked out the straightest pieces of charcoal I could find. I then drilled another stick with a hole to form the body of the pencil, giving it a better form and preventing the charcoal from getting on my hands as I write. Then I inserted the charcoal. But to make it stay, I need to make my own glue. Taking a few pieces of the deer hide I'd used for the parchment, I then boiled it for a while, strained it, and let it set. This draws out the collagen proteins in the hide and creates a pretty effective glue. Alright, there's the pencil. While my pencil contains charcoal to write with, the next writing utensils I'll be making will need their own ink, but I can actually make some using the leftover materials from my pencil. By taking the animal hide glue we made earlier and adding some soot, we were able to make one of the first forms of ink that was used, animal glue ink. Doesn't seem too bad. In contrast to Western styles of writing, the brush was a common writing utensil in China, dating as far back as 400 BC. It remains popular to this day in traditional Asian calligraphy. So now I have everything to make the paintbrush. I got a stick, drilled a hole, shave the bark, put a couple notches in it. And then I have horse hair, and this will be used for the bristles of the brush. And then to hold it all together, I have animal hide glue and cotton thread left over from when I made my suit. So, I'm just gonna cut the hair, put it inside the stick with a little bit of glue. Then tie it all together to hold it. And then once it dries, that'll be the paintbrush. And the glue seems to be working pretty good because I appear to have glued my fingers together. I have my paintbrush completed now, so now I need to learn how to use it. So I'm here with Mike, an expert Japanese calligrapher. He's gonna show me how. All right. So Japanese calligraphy is done usually holding the brush straight up and down. So when the brush touches down on the paper at kind of a 45 degree angle, this is the basic starting point for all of your lines in calligraphy. From that point, you could just do a little dot with a little tail on it, or you can come down and go horizontally, or from that same position, you can go straight down to do a vertical line, 45 degree line that way, or a 45 degree line that way. You're not going back and correcting anything or filling in, it's all done in one motion. So there's no going back and, and cleaning up your line. So it's lots and lots of practice. <laughs> so you're going to hold it in one hand, just kind of hang it. Then with your right hand that you're going to hold the brush with, point your fingers down. Like that? Yeah. Although you can drop your elbow down kind of like that. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All of the motion is done with the arm. You're not, you're not moving your wrist. And this means eternity? Yes. That's how long you're going to practice it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This looks a little different. <laughs> well, you know, that's, that's 17, 18 years of practice versus yeah. 17, 18 minutes of practice. <laughs> <laughs> I think I got a pretty basic understanding of how to do the brush. So how much longer would it take to get good at this? Well, if you practice every day for a year or so, I think you could... Uh, get up to a, a pretty good level of experience. <laughs> All right. <laughs>
Like, let's start on that. All right. Thanks. Yep, my pleasure.